COVID-19 has posed a large problem to this world. There have been reports of patients getting reinfected with COVID-19. They had tested positive for the virus again after discharge. We want to clarify whether is, uh, this actually exists, or is it just a myth? Some doctors claimed several patients healed from the infection become reinfected with the coronavirus again, and some doctors said a second round of illness was much more severe. Those stories fuel fears uh, that we will not able to reach herd immunity. According to experts, it may be possible for the coronavirus to strike the same person twice, but it is highly unlikely that it would do so in a such short uh, of window or make people sicker the second time. Most people who are exposed to the coronavirus make antibodies that can destroy the virus. The more severe the symptoms, the stronger the response. A few people don't produce the antibodies, but that's true for any virus. Worries about reinfection have been fueled by recent studies suggesting these antibody levels plummet. Several teams have recently reported that the levels of these antibodies decline in two months. But a drop in antibodies is perfectly normal after an acute infection subsides. But other work suggests that the antibody level decli decline and then stabilize. In study of nearly 20,000 people posted to the online server Medrixiv on July 17, the West majority made plentiful antibodies, and half of those with low levels still had antibodies that could destroy the virus. Coronavirus provokes a vigorous defense uh, from immune cells that can kill the virus. Memory T cells persist are important. Once the infection wanes, a small fraction of the cell enters the bone marrow and set up shop to create long-term immunity memory, which can churn out antibodies when they are needed again. There was a reported case about Miss Kent, who was reinfected second time after uh, 30 days from recovery. But experts say Miss Kent may not have fully recovered. Even, uh, even though she felt better, the virus may have secreted itself into certain parts of the body, as the Ebola virus is known to do, and then resurfaced. She did not get tested between the two positives, but even she had, faulty tests and low viral levels can produce a false negative. In the early weeks of the pandemic, some people in China, Japan, and South Korea tested positive twice, sparking similar fears. South Korea's Centers for Disease Control and Prevention investigated 285 of those cases and found that several of second positives came two months after the first, and in one case, 82 days later. Nearly half of the people had symptoms at the second test but the researchers were unable to grow live virus uh, from any of these samples. And the uh, infected people don't spread the virus to others. It was pretty solid epidemiological and virological evidence that reinfection was, no, was not happening, at least in those people. In addition, a level pre-existing immunity against SARS-CoV-2 appears to exist in, in the general population. The immunity may have been stimulated by prior exposure to coronavirus that cause common cold. T cells would blunt the illness and may explain why some people with COVID-19 have mild to no symptoms. Conclusion There is no pure evidence reinfection cases, but reinfection is possible. Good thing, it is very rare. And it happens in case of any other viral infections too for example, influenza virus. According to CDC, the immune response, including duration of immunity to uh, COVID-19 infection is not yet understood. Patients infected with other uh, beta coronaviruses, mers cov h -co, the genus to which uh, COVID-19 belongs, are unlikely to be reinfected shortly, three months or more, after they recover. However, more information is needed to know whether similar immune protection will be observed for patients with COVID-19.